Hello everybody, welcome back to my Let's Play Europa in Stardust 4. I'm your Chief Trunka, and today I will continue my Albania or Iberia achievement run. And uh, I, I didn't, I don't think I noticed. Uh, I've, I've mentioned it last episode, but look at the war with Scotland and England. You know, Scotland has siege dead. Oh wait a minute, <laughs> they get owned. No, actually, uh, when I when I loaded in the game today. I actually just noticed that that Scotland is completely siege because I was I actually literally was over here like in the game playing in the game I just out of, out of the corner of my eye I saw that you know there was a province siege or occupied by Scotland and I was like really Scotland's doing a good job but for some reason I I didn't you know look over there um, but but now that I see it it's, it's so funny it's like a it's like a teaser you look over there it's like Oh, so he's winning, and then you look. Oh, nope, they're not. But that's not really surprising. I wonder if he's just gonna full annex him, because then he would at least get knocked as well. But well, actually, I think if he if he could, if he could, he would probably do it. Oh, and Scotland is Scotland is only 88. Oh my God, I think England is gonna full annex. But yeah, uh, I currently have. To face a huge coalition it has not the war hasn't they have not yet declared war but I don't know why they're waiting I've lost my alliance with Bohemia which is really terrible we have a royal marriage that's stupid it, that this is what I hate you know it occupies a slot now but hmm. well whatever I guess I'm gonna go a little slower today oh it what is going on? Oh, okay. Really slow. Hungary has announced me as a rival. That's fine. Okay, now it's now it seems to work. All right. Good job. We have eight thousand dollars. We're losing a ton of money. Why? So we're losing money anyways. We cannot pay our army. It's too bad. How much does this guy cost? 40 cents. Okay. One more diplomat. Now what do I do? There's a lot of peepee peepee. -pee, a lot of peepee -pee hating me. Now a lot of people hate me. I kinda want burgundy. I kinda want burgundy so badly. Even even though you wouldn't even do do a wrong marriage. If only I had some diplomatic reputation. Then I could actually do something. But I mean if if the war breaks out, I cannot win. I cannot win. Austria has only fifteen thousand troops. He's not the Emperor and he lost his gold province and he just lost a huge war. And uh Poland's in debt. They're both in debt. They they wouldn't even help me in the war against Hungary. Scotland will see only t oh okay I'm surprised England took only two provinces and Sto Scotland still has that personal union but he's gonna lose it he has negative prestige we finally have positive like this war with Hungary brought us I think this war gave us 80 prestige and usually you don't value you don't value oh, prestige that much because yeah, playing as a nation you always have prestige but for me, it was quite helpful. To Scotland, Savoy as a vassal. Offer vassalization. Yeah, no, that, I don't want to do that. Royal marriage. He would not do it. Damn. How about that alliance? We can only improve by six. Hmm. Too bad. It should change. Oh, it did change quite a bit. So if I, I get nine more at negative three, and England broke the alliance with Tyrone, he's probably gonna vassalize him. No. Oh, Connacht has a claim on it, so he just wants to go after it. Wait, no, Connacht is Scotland's vassal. What are you talking about, England? 
and France, France just didn't help. France didn't help Scotland at all. He was just in the war. Oh, and they're rebels giving um, land back to Lithuania. Venice just uh, rivaled me. That's fine. I'm your rival as well. Are you still transferring trade power? You still are. Interesting. Now they don't feel as strong anymore, do they? Yeah, they had negative 17, at negative 19 relative power to liege, and now it's only well 10 for Serbia and negative 14 for Croatia. I like I like them though. I like my vassals, especially because they have the same culture group as the same religion, so it goes really fast annexing them. I just don't want this coalition to, to start firing, but really, I mean, what do I do? I, I kind of... I have to declare war on somebody. Like, I have to get involved over here somewhere, somehow. I don't know how yet. Oh my god, look at Georgia. He's big. The problem is, if I ever get involved... The, Livonian order declared war in Lithuania again? Didn't they just peace out? Wait, they, didn't they just peace, literally just peace out? So yeah, Poland's back at war. That's bad. That is really bad because I only have two allies and if one of them is occupied I only have uh, Austria to help me. And God knows if they if they even have an army. I mean, they do. It's, it seems like they have an army. Okay, finally that uh, witchcraft, witch hunt modifier is, is over. That is... that's good. Actually, what... what uh, where does it say that? Oh, there you go. Negative four. Okay. So we should not have that much unrest. In Ragusa, we should have almost none, yeah. Whom we have no unrest. Really? Autonomy decreased. Recent uprising. Oh, they had a recent uprising. Right. So, uh, good. So, f we're good for quite a long time. Nice. Because uh, Bosnia has a course on there. Okay, gotcha. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Um, yeah, so I would I would think oh you know, Saxony is actually in a war with Brunswick and Anhalt. Did they declare the war? Yep. Well, no. His ally did. Anyway, I think this is a good spot where I will uh, pause the game and come back if something interesting happens. But I think that it's not gonna... You don't have to wait too long because... Uh, the coalition is going to declare war on me very soon. But let me stop recording here. Go fast forward a little bit because right now I can't do anything. With that With that huge coalition, there's nothing. Literally nothing I can do. Nothing. So I'll just wait around, see what happens. Maybe I can annex someone. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, everyone. I'm back for a quick uh, update. So I think the only really interesting thing or notable thing happened was that Scotland annexed their vassal Connacht but that you know that's not too important um, the reason I came back was because I just have the chance right now to tech up um, well actually what happened was my dude died I don't know what it was what, what kind of dude I had anyways but he died and so uh, our advi inquisitor uh, is that is that the National Revolt dude? No, it's not. Anyway, just some dude died. Anyways, so what happened was that I looked over here and I saw, you know, I'm getting 12 points over there, 12, uh, 12 administrative points. I might not need them because, you know, I don't, well, well at least I think, no, I do need them, but I can pump out other ideas. So what should I do? I can actually get a get one of those guys. Um 
so I went over to this and I know I can I can uh, tech up and I can get a new idea now looking at the ideas I would love to take military because well I have military power left over and actually what is my what is my next leader gonna be yeah, we have a six so he's he's gonna be focused on military as well although well he's 25 he's not gonna die soon hopefully at least so and this is military is our weakest right now so I think since he's a six over here I, I don't think I need to focus on admin but I could rather focus on either military or Diplo since Diplo is the weakest our next dude has I think I should focus on Diplo right now and take take that uh, wait when's the next idea it's 10 hmm well taking taking a military idea I don't know which one like I like quantity I like quality I like defensive offense I like all of pretty much all of them but those four are the best um I still like the influence idea more because I would get more income from vassals because right now vassals give me not nothing nothing really so that well wouldn't really benefit too much but time to fabricate claims well it's not the best diplomatic annexation cause that's definitely helpful um, aggressive expansion impact goes down definitely helpful uh, diplomatic reputation goes up relations and on envoy travel time is definitely good uh, subject force limits contributions also good and unjustified demands so I'm not too sure which one I should take um bah. I mean I, I like I like the idea of having I mean I have access military points I can tech up in two years that's fine then I will just have the best tech I think I'm gonna take no I think I'm gonna tech up and I'll take I'll take the influence ideas yeah just just because take influence or is it is that is diplomatic better no it's just the extra diplomat extra diplomatic rep no I'll take out one yeah income from vassals I mean I could still tech up uh, could still tech up but I don't know what's uh, there's nothing good coming from it so I'd rather do the ideas because that gives me yearly prestige so I'll do that. So we have uh, leader, land leader maneuver. We have prestige and we have land force limits. Also fort defense and manpower recovery. Good. So continue on. And uh, yeah, so far I don't think there's anything happening. So I will stop recording here again and uh, see you in a bit. Okay, here I am again, guys. Uh, it's just been a couple months actually and Bohemia just well at some point Denmark must have annexed Mecklenburg I don't remember when that happened but they did anyways and they just refused to give uh, the Imperial stuff back so Bohemia asked them and they obviously refused why would you give it back if you just conquered it uh, whatever or anyway uh, Poland or oh, Bohemia actually now declared war on Poland and they bring in their ally Würzburg and maybe Tyrol I don't know but maybe so this is really tough because Poland's already in a defensive war against Muscovy and now they have to fight Bohemia and well they have 17,000 troops and I could definitely help them I I guess I, ha I have no other choice but to help them um, it's just really a pain because they're gonna go and come down here and fight my guys. They're tech seven. I mean, me too. I, I will be tech eight next year, but still, I don't like it, and it makes me and my entire alliance even weaker. Luckily, the Ottomans have so far they have decided to declare war on Coinlu and. Uh, Ramazan, but they just might they might just change their mind really soon Especially now that I'm at war with the Emperor Because that was one of the things that would keep them from attacking me and the same with the same goes for Aragon 
you know, now maybe Aragon, the Teutonic Order, or who else? Uh, who else in there? Yeah, it would be Aragon, Provence, Teutonic Order. They could just start a coalition war. The or Venice, Venice might as well. They could now just start a coalition war without Bohemia helping me, and the Ottomans could declare war on me. So it's a really tough position, and I hope nothing bad comes from this. But for some reason, I believe it will. So let's let's see what happens here. So we joined the war, and I should I should definitely as much I hate doing that, but I I have to have supportive. I cannot. My, my vassals, you can please don't. Yeah, I need you to stay close. It's just if you go out there and lose your troops, lose your lose your armies, lose everything, it's it's not good. This cannot happen. Now that's definitely a thing to. I can raise war taxes right now, just so I make more money. So that's that's a good thing. I have access military points that could be spent on that. Now the Hansas in the war with us as well as well Pomerania is kind of useless so we'll see we'll see how this goes the Hans is actually are they allied they allied to Poland okay so it kind of turns out it, it depends on who wins this battle and it looks like Bohemia will and now Kreis is helping with his 2243 general he feels like I'm supportive but you know what I will support you over there, where I have nothing to do. Uh, now it's a question if he's gonna attack or stop. Uh, and he's stopped. And he's doing whatever. I'm fine with that helping. I'm fine with Croatia helping out my ally. I just, I'm just really scared that I'm being attacked. I have that huge coalition. I did manage to get Savoy to 24 relations, but he still doesn't want to get out of the coalition. So I'm trying to improve relations with a lot of people, uh, as much people as possible. It's currently Georgia. Oh, well, Georgia has a different goal, but it's currently Milan. And um, I want to improve relations with Georgia just so maybe I can get a royal marriage and. I don't know, something. I just kind of feel like it's good if I have them. Have good relations with them. Because I can't attack them right now anyways. So, I might as well have good relations with them. <sighs> just feels like this is... Oh my god. And Venice has connected lands again. Just feels like this is the... The peace before the... Oh no, how, how do you say this? Well, there's a saying in Germany that it's... Ruhe vor dem Sturm. That kind of means like, well, before a storm hits or, you know, uh, it's kind of quiet. Yeah, that's so. Is it is the, the the silence for the storm or something like that? You could call it that. So, who are your rivals, Burgundy? You have rivaled France, England, and Aragon. Well, Aragon, I would be happy to rival. Um. Just I'm just not significant enough. So Poland has some patriots that are patrolling his eastern border, so if Galicia Volnia wants to attack, he would have to deal with these 13k dudes. And it looks like they're keeping Bohemia in check, which is fine. Croatia is actually really helpful over there. It's good. But Serbia and me are just chilling. And the mom looks also the mom is also at war with Akondo. And they pieced him out already. Took one province. So hopefully your Ottomans and Mamluks will go to war very soon. Uh sorry, I just got distracted there. Um had to do something real quick. Um so yeah, well, where was I? Oh yeah. Well, so it looks like they, the Hansa, my, my vassal, Pomerania, and all those dudes, kind of have them, um, kind of win. Actually, that's that's very good. So, oh well, there's a 20k stack. You should probably help him. I mean, if I if I would send all of my forces, 
could probably get something out of this. But I don't really feel like doing this. I don't have that much mind power. And okay, so it seems whoops. Seems like that was it for this episode anyways today. So thank you for watching guys. And uh, don't forget to LCS, like, comment, subscribe, and I hope to see you next time. Steve Tronka, signing off.